Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. What happens to gold and silver in a stabilized economy? That's the question we're going to explore. Gold and silver. What happens if trade works out and with a deal with China? What happens when we have Congress uh, sign off on these trade deals that are being negotiated right now? What happens if everything just works out? What happens to gold and silver if jobs continually be, are created? If the Federal Reserve can raise interest rates and not have an effect on the economy. What happens to gold and silver? You know, these are questions that most of us in our mind can answer. And we, uh, we think, well, the precious metals will probably stay low in price. But will they? Have we reached a point, for one reason or another, to which we will explore? Will they stay low or will they go up or will they quote stabilize as well uh, we'll see we'll see what what uh, what kind of a different scenarios can come into play in a stable economy you know it's been over 10 years since the last recession and if you look at a chart of the past recessions we have one on average about every nine years so we're really overdue for a recession. But uh, what happens if one doesn't occur? Or at least a serious one, one that doesn't last very long, and then the economy stabilizes? What happens to gold and silver? You know, trade deals are something that has really been making the markets go wild as of late. There's talks of this setback or the details and the negotiating tactics or, or how it's hurting this or that. Tariffs are essentially taxes. And some say that the, the what's going on even already has just wiped away all of the, uh, the tax cut incentives. But even though the government is pulling in records amounts of revenue because of the tax cuts and, of course, tariffs as well. But if we work things out... If there's a negotiation that takes place that does benefit America and really, too, the other nations involved to where it's a amicable situation where everybody is happy with these particular trade deals, what happens then to gold and silver? <clears throat> well, there's two different ways that it can play out. Number one is the economy stabilizes and stays strong. That means the dollar will stabilize and stay strong. But what kind of strength are we talking about with the dollar? Where it is now in the 90s for the dollar index? Or will it go up and rise from there? And then that means that these safe haven assets and money, because we understand that gold and silver are money, will go down in price, which creates a great buying opportunity for us. However, it could also mean that they stabilize in price or stay level or even go up in price, especially if in the nations around the world, the deals that we may make with China, especially China, and India, if we renegotiate trade with India, if we need to, what have you, it could be that as part of that agreement, that the dollar is knocked down a peg or two and there's been talk of a weaker dollar and uh, that uh, if we have a slightly weaker dollar to make other currencies strong it puts more value in their currencies which would help them and that may be part of the deal that's being talked about right now and if that's the case then we will see precious metals go up and they'll go up in our dollars and down for the dollars or for the currencies of the nations. We're already seeing a record amount of, uh, of these nations grabbing more gold for the central banks, and some even silver. 
and they'll continue to do that is my guess when they can buy it at a bargain to protect themselves for the next crisis that may come along because these trade deals can always be renegotiated again but also the economies of these nations also uh, aren't can't be controlled by us the United States but I would hope that any kind of trade deals that do occur will also will help their economies as well or at least in different ways ways that may, they may not see and I think a revaluing of the currency uh, is one way that they can uh, as a negotiating tactic to help to help those nations and their currencies to help them remain strong against the dollar and so we could see economic economic activity pick up and if we do see economic activity pick up in these nations as a result of these deals not only as for a cultural reason why in India especially why there may be a more demand for gold at a lower price but the industrial uses of silver will come into play and it will be an increased demand in silver and an increased demand in silver uh, could outpace the supply that would cause silver prices to go up as a commodity and so there are times and there's a situation where we can have a strong and a stable economy even around the world and precious metal prices because prices could increase but the other aspect of it is they could also be flat or go down I have a feeling that no matter what happens the prices are pretty much at their lows now for both metals I don't see them going much lower than they are now uh, but it's always a possibility but regardless there's different factors at play there is a possibility that things may work out and I don't know many of us in the community here we uh, <clears throat> we are jaded by economic prospects and uh, our governments in many of our nations seem to always make the wrong decisions for sure no matter who's in charge and I don't discount that I am a realist for sure but I'm also an optimist I think a lot of us really want things to work out whether it be in trade whether it be in economic activity I've always thought no matter what the political views that I hold it doesn't matter who's president I just would love to see a good economy I like to see things go well I like to see people succeed in life not only as a nation but also for my neighbors for many of you out there too you know economic hardships uh, you know that would necessarily give us a uh, a bolstering or a, a, a way to boast with high precious metal prices to say see I told you so gold and silver are certainly a way to protect your wealth and they're going up when the economic hardships occur I'd rather not have that I'd rather have the precious metal prices be low and everybody do well economically but at the same time you know it's a uh, it's one of those things where things could turn south the economy could do bad we could have a recession we could have a minor recession we could have an exact repeat of what happened in 2007 2008 a lot of people are saying it's going to be worse nonetheless I think that there's people out there and I think that even people in government for all intents and purposes want things to get better um, it's in everybody's best interest that the economy does well and uh, so I'm hoping that it does and it stays well and it's strong and stable you know there, there's been talk about in the criticisms of the Federal Reserve and the debt and every time they continue to print money like it's going out of style uh, you know you just lose it loses its value in time and we've seen that you look at a chart of the dollar how much it's lost in value over the course of a hundred years it's astonishing precious metals don't do that gold and silver they hold their value 
Their price may change, but their value holds strong and firm. But the key is what we really need right now is a stable dollar. And if a stable dollar means a lower dollar and other currencies benefit, I think I'd rather have the stable dollar where there's less inflation and we can put more trust in it, as much trust as we can put in anything that's fiat. In any case, we hold these precious metals and we hold them because we understand that they are self-evident. And a stable dollar makes no difference in that regard. We hold these precious metals, but we also want the economy to do well. But don't discount the chance and the possibility that things just might work out. We don't know. We don't know what's going on, what goes on behind the scenes. And though many of us are kind of jaded and uh, we feel kind of uh, like the government's doing a lot of bad things and making a lot of bad decisions, especially depending on your point of view. My view is that, especially in our society, that the economy is ran best by the engine, the backbone of the economy, and that's us, the American people, the small and large business owners out there, the people who are making breakthroughs, inventions. There's a lot of good stuff. There's a lot of good potential out there if it's unleashed. And I believe if governments recognize that around all the nations of the world, I think we're better off for it. And I think we'll do well. There will be economic downturns, sure. There always is, no matter who's in charge. But in this present, present crisis right now, with a stock market that is volatile, and as, and as of the recording of this video, it's actually recovered a bit, but it's not to say that tomorrow will be something totally different. But in this day and age, stability really is key. And um, there's a chance that things could work out. And if that does happen, we could still see the precious metals react accordingly because of the forces at play with regards to how those negotiations play out where we may have a weaker dollar and higher precious metals prices, but that weaker dollar may be stable. And uh, weaker is a relative term compared to what it is now. It's strong, but it's not stable. So post your thoughts below about the situation, about the possibility that potentially things could work out. Regardless, no matter what happens, we hold precious metals. And we agree that precious metals are the ultimate money in the stabilization of our own personal economies because we are our own central bank and this provides true independence no matter what the governments do or what the nations around the world do. We know we are protected by these metals right here, gold and silver. So I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.